pad as long as he sees one guy uh, getting out of his eye he just instantly glimpses him back and, and even there was an observer ward where he placed instantly and uh, catches a one core also in the triangle cam i mean this hero is uh, it's, it's, it's really necessary to ban this hero also i mean he's really strong in the laning phase as well have a good team fight every day also yeah I, mean, i watched that game yep wiki ban incoming <laughs> The next is banned, so they might pick a bug unless it gets banned. Oh, Phoenix, that's that's probably a hard position fight, Phoenix, I guess. So they are gonna probably they'll pick a hero to hit the egg. Well, Fuck, it's still open. three, four, five. I, have you seen Phoenix playing mid? I mean, so it's really good, like. It's a, it's more like the Kunka or Reza, like however they play, it's the same as the Phoenix. Like as soon as he gets his level 6, he's just gonna dive under the tower and he will just pop his egg after he plays some spirits on the enemy hero and just like that. He can't do anything about that, he can even break the egg and they would just die. But it seems it's not the Phoenix mid trendy anytime soon. I think it's pretty situational man, there are certain heroes that can like purge the, you know, the phoenix skill so I, I don't think people, they will be worried about that phoenix mid and anyways I feel like this meta you need a roaming mid man, the one who can make space for you know the core because usually safe laner they lose the lane man, the meta is such you know, you can't help it. And so we actually, mm, yeah, we actually watched a game like yesterday, literally. I mean, there was an enemy had a morphling, and uh, the opposite team had the air shaker, the similar yeah. to this. Like they were trying to get the pick up the morphling air shaker combo, but it just didn't work it out. They just uh, counter pick with them with themselves, and uh, what that what that air shaker player did was he constantly ganking up on this morphling every time as soon as he got his blink dagger. Like it's a four man five man no, it's a literally a one man echo slam as soon as uh, as soon as he got his blink dagger every time the smoke ganks. So that's what he have been doing in the game so far, but. Later, he became the man of the game in the game actually, you know, after some uh, really uh, spectacle, spectacular uh, four man and five man echo slam in the later stage. But Dude, this game, I think, I think it's gonna have a hard time, man. Cold feet into Fisher and into uh, this A blast. So, ah, this Muffling is really gonna have a hard time. They literally pick two counters to him. I mean like this AA pick it's already really beautiful. I mean we are talking about a Morphling and a Phoenix. Phoenix hand uses Sunday to heal people and this Morphling uh, it really relies on his strength uh, uh, what this thing called? Yeah strength uh, shift attribute thingy. So yeah this ancient and apparition he literally counters both of them. Uh, and let's see how they're gonna work really work it out with. And up few PL also and Sand King. But you know there's a, I think there's a weakness in their draft. Earthshaker and A, both these picks, they Earthshaker will roam a bit, but apart from a Fisher, he doesn't like provide, you know, like much more uh, in the early stages of the game. And if they pick a really good roamer, you know, they might be able to shut. You know, uh, I don't know, they might be able to have an early advantage because A he likes to sit in one lane, you know, and just babysit and then keep pulling and stuff like that. So if they pick a really aggressive guy, maybe they would be able to, you know, like shut them down or something. Void is banned. They ban um, Ursa. Mm. Oh, Jug is a really nice pick, man. Hmm. Jug can just spin uh, and uh, just destroy the egg, you know. I I like this pick, this Jug pick. Unless, but he can be countered in the lane too, man. There, there are still so many heroes that are still open. But you know, like whenever uh, Morphling sees, uh, um, you know, the inbuilt BKB type hero like a Juggernaut who has a Blade Fury and a Lysela with who have a rage, so like Morphling would be really happy to morph him to himself and have himself uh, still BKB ability for himself. So in a team fight, so it's really awkward to pick some heroes like that against this morphling so yeah 
That we were like, they were like super comfort after the change in apparition pick. No, I feel like the thing is if Morfling is a mid, you know, he is gonna like he is gonna spend the early game just farming, and then if they have a really good roamer mid, you know, he's gonna like really. I think it depends, uh, dude. I feel like you can play the Morfling safe also. And in fact, I think a really scary hero now for R4DG would be a Batrider, dude. I feel like Batrider is one that punishes, like... Yeah, Earth, yeah, yeah. Earthshaker, oh, AA. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Rooster, can you actually... Back? Speak, I mean, can you hear him speaking? Yeah, dude, of course. I... <laughs> yeah, I agree too, man. This, uh... A bad pick. Oof. A bad pick can really be, be scary at this moment. Yeah, but Clock is also really good. Again, I think here Clock is a support that offers the same Clock. thing, right? It's a BKB piercing stun. So again, a really good way to protect the egg. And also, the battery assault is really good against Earthshaker. Like, one battery and assault cogs, ES is dead. And, and he can't cast anything. And uh, yeah, I think Clock is actually a very good answer to this draft of earth shaker yeah man like clockwork is really good versus earth shaker and aa also because a he doesn't have good movement speed and then if they ca get caught in battery assault either the two support if they get caught in battery assault they're gonna die and then if jugger try to close the gap he can just cog and then push him away and then keep you know that even that is pretty annoying <coughs> yeah yeah, it's also and like when you have a phoenix egg, right? Everybody is trying to get it, get to it to break it. And when you have these like cogs just preventing you from going anywhere near it, it's so annoying. And I think just a really good, really good uh, pick coming out from R4DG. And this clock, uh, the constant missile, you know, it can disable this Archaker blink at later stages of the game also, which will like, sometimes like the timing, you know, it's gonna ruin his timing if he's like... So you have to be careful about that. And maybe sometimes it happens that you're gonna, the moment he's gonna blink in and then he gets like, his the blink get cancelled and then if, you know, like, uh, he might miss his echo also. So you have to be really careful. Yeah, Darkseer is also another really, really nice pick. I guess once again, giving them some really good team fight, but also some really good pickoff potential. You know, you put an Ion Shell on a Clockwork, and instantly this Clockwork becomes so much stronger and so annoying to deal with. In addition to his battery assault damage and his cogs, he also has like this 70 DPS shell on him that's just gonna like shred into you. And heroes like A and ES that don't have like an escape mechanism just suffer to this kind of combination. And also the cogs from the clockwork acts like a good uh, barrier for for Doxia to vacuum into. So uh, just really really good team synergy I think coming out from R4DG. But I like this uh, Underlord pick man. He, he's gonna be their frontliner and then uh, that pit that pit can like you know ruin like if they're trying to escape with like Darkseer you know his third skill he, he's gonna prevent them from escaping and then it, yeah. it creates like I mean, yeah yeah uh, Underlord is really good I think another good thing is that Underlord's Firestorm is uh, percentage damage like it deals more damage to higher yes, HP heroes yes. so like Morphling's Strength Morph and like heroes like Clockwork, Phoenix, Daxia who have these really really high HP pools suffer a lot to that uh, Underlord Firestorm. And I think it's also really good where if a fight is going badly and like if your jug is caught in a bad position and you know everybody's like on it, there's a Phoenix Egg, there's a Clockwork Hook, like everybody's just wailing into your jug, you just, you know, Dark Rift him out of there dude. Yeah. Dark Rift and just escape, you know, yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. And sometimes uh, I've seen like teams they're like you know for some really risky you know like tower and then they see like two three TPs and then he'll start channeling and then they'll take the tower and instantly TP to the other side and yeah. then the enemy they have to either decide to come walking and defend that I mean it's, it wastes a lot of time for the enemy you know mm -hmm. yeah and R4DG picking up a monkey king I think they did this even in their last draft where they got a mid morphling and um, the safe lane monkey um, I think they're just trying oh, to man. win their lanes they knew the underlord is gonna be off lane so they pick monkey to secure it 
but a good response I think from uh. Rogue Knights picking up the Void Spirit. Uh, I think uh, Doctor Strange did play his Void Spirit even last time, and had some really good sync with uh, again Godlike Earth Shaker once again. So hopefully we'll see more of their combos in today's game. So I think my only criticism of this is that uh, they have <laughs> very similar heroes. Doctor Strange and Godlike playing the same heroes and Arjunan and uh, Chopper Baboon also playing the same heroes. Uh, but other than that, other than that slight lack of flexibility, I guess uh, very very like fight intensive games I suppose we can expect from this. Some huge wombo combos can be expected. Uh, I feel like in the early game, right, this Void Spirit and A, they, they, or like even Archie Garcia, this Void Spirit can just land his Remnant and then like if A is level 6, he, he's, he's gonna make sure that, you know, A can land his uh, Blast. So, yeah, yeah it, it can be quite useful. Or yeah. they can start with Cold Feet and then Archie can yeah. follow up with Fisher and then he can use his Blast. So yeah. the combo is pretty easy to execute. Yeah. Or I even think with this, uh, this, this uh, Underlord. Is this A pick is actually so troublesome, dude, because they have Monkey King and Morphling and Phoenix, who all, like, you know, they they depend on this regen. And, like, Darkseer also usually goes into a Greaves, which is, again, regen, which the A Blast is going to be a counter to. So it'll be interesting to see how they play this. Uh, hold on, okay, I'm gonna restart once, I think, because I can't control the camera. Yeah, dude, sure thing. So anyway, I'll just start up with the introduction, War from War on here now. And the Radiant team, <laughs> R4DG. Senil playing out his Clockwork. Arjunan playing out his Monkey King. Omen Daiki playing out his Dogseer. Story of Ocean 5 playing out his Phoenix. And finally, Chopper Baboon aka Eren playing out his Morphling. Coming back to the die team, the rogue knights, the godlike, once again playing out his beautiful earth shaker, Dr. Strange, once again playing out his void spirit, Boyka playing out his underlord, uh, rogue prince playing out his signature, ancient apparition, and finally Athena is playing out his juggernaut. Well, 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 starting with the DC, oh, I mean the boss, the casual boss. Hello? Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Oh, you. Can you hear me? Nice! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm still having problems. I have to restart D2, I think. You're still having the camera problem? I think you need to restart the Dota 2, dude. I'm still struggling with the thing, man. I'm just gonna restart my client, man. I can't control the camera. Anyway, uh... <laughs> okay, maybe I should mute down this talk here, but never mind. Uh, even I'm a chat will spammer, but yeah, never mind. So like that, <laughs> Reddit, Reddit actually trying to take a first foot at the bottom, even... Just 30 seconds now. And even the diet I'm actually quite fixated on getting this uh, bot room for now. Let's see who's gonna get the first blood. If you think about the trap, I think like the Raiden kind of have the upper hand compared to the uh, rogue, uh, rogue Knights. Here we go, Senjin got buffed up by the Ian Shell War here, but he's not gonna go on to the Doctor Strange. Arjuna already rid himself in the Korea farm, but I think I already picked up a uh, rune war here. They probably not gonna connect on anyone, I guess. But nice Fisher coming up from the, this guy, but he just got blocked the juggernaut on the other side, so they can't actually get this first part over here. But never mind, they would still pick up their runes. So it's a morphling mate, okay. Okay, it became a tri lane like thought Juggernaut would be going for the top, but it seems they have spared the lanes for now since he doesn't want to deal with this toxic. Neither he can ki kill or 
I mean, his HP kind of super low. Don't want to spin. Use use to spin against his Eon Shield buffed up creeps. So yeah, no mind about that. Let's just lane swap, and that's what they did. Actually, doing the trial in here. Okay, starting up with an uh, orb buffer, I might be going uh, upgrading it to orb of course in no time. But I'm not sure like how they can actually be super aggressive against this lane since it's the Phoenix we are talking about who doesn't have a stand, just a fellow a few nukes, and the nukes it's not even considered nukes until it gets to level three. Well, still though, I don't know, kind of having a hard time, not like really a hard time, but MK is kind super aggressive over here oh. okay even the clock is gets at the bottom level hey you're here two, level three okay. is gonna be can you hear me bro gonna be... yes yes bro can you hear me yeah sure nice Oh, Arjunan actually got caught up by the cold fate, but now mine still used for bounty stack as well as the, uh, with the help of the Jingo Master. He doesn't, didn't have a lot of lives to it, but still, his teammates would give him a sal. Hello. So, like, what do you think about this Trilane versus Trilane, bro? I mean, against this matchup. A battery assault nice two man bonus check on top of the two or here so that the rock prince make sure to go down and they will claim the first part away this even this god like might even go down i guess yeah that's the damage with the dps label, label, label. see this is like they're both of them have got like uh killing potential because if they executed the at level three if they executed cold uh cold snap uh, sorry uh, cold feed into fisher into spin they can kill you know any hero meanwhile the same thing is true with uh, this cock if they come near the cock they are gonna die you know at least the support because they are so weak yeah once again that's no ancient apparition respawn but now i'm in arjuna he used up a boundless egg before he dies i think yeah the ancient apparition dies first so he will still get the xp out of this one but jagannath is he gonna die for this as well Sengen used up a nicely cogs his own creeps actually blocking in the incel in, in in his front but he pops up with fire fire but still now i'm in Sengen make sure to get a kill onto this guy it's a double kill on this clockwork Sengen, what a player now ancient apparition doesn't have a tp to start with That clockwork is getting a lot out of that, huh? That engagement. And then the yeah, early no. boots is paying off. Meanwhile, top, it's an even lane. Both of them are just trading farm. Hey, I don't think like this both people is, is gonna die anytime soon. I mean, dogs in might, but just gonna pop yourself for now. Underlord is getting a bit ahead. Yeah, like he can use, use up his firestorm and uh, make sure to get the, the buffed up creeps to die first before he gets some any damage out of that. Like both of them, like uh, you know the showing lane zero. He can use a uh, firestorm and this guy just show the lane with his ion shell. But I think I like Underlord has the advantage. It's, yeah. I feel like at bottom they should focus on killing this uh, phoenix, you know, with the cold feet into fissure into spin because uh, the monkey and uh, the clockwork is a bit difficult to kill. But if they focus on phoenix, I can they they can do that. Yeah, they can actually do that, but this phoenix has already have a level one die, so they might need to do like the second time also. Like for the first time, they need, just need to harass a little, make sure to you know bait his die so that they can use the combo once uh, after after a while to get his skill. But I'm not sure like this is gonna happen anytime soon enough since Sinjin is really playing really well, controlling all this lane over here. Okay, try to take take up the rune with the die, but not gonna connect. Okay, I should make sure to get this. Right. 
All right, I picked a third one over here. Oh, Underlord. I think Underlord. Morphling may he may can he may have a chance to kill this uh, Underlord over here since even Dark at the front. So over here, if we uh, gives him a surge, they might can actually kill this Underlord. Yeah, he gave him a surge. Ian shall as well do that leg. Wave from already has been used. He's trying to do kind of thing, but now my that's a rocket with a little bit of vision. Make sure to get get a kill on this Underlord. Downtime for 20 seconds. That he missed his wave, but like yeah, he still died. Even admit they were doing even, but uh, man, that underlord he was ahead, but now I think they are gonna be even because he died once. Yeah. Okay, second power rune of the game. Salution rune at the top. Using a few as a step, making sure to get this rune. Clockwork has finished his vessel uh, with this urn, so I, I think he's like trying to find kills and he's rotating top maybe. Uh, but I think Underlord will be hard to kill. And Void Spirit will be uh, obviously, it's gonna be really difficult to kill. Maybe he just like make some. Mm. Yeah, like, I mean, it's a Morphling and he's sub against uh, Ancient Aversion. So as a Morphling player, uh, what would you be actually going for this game? I mean, he can go for E-Blade still, doesn't matter of the AA a a in the team, but... Would you be rushing a Manta style or would be going for a straight uh, BKB or something? Uh, I... Man, I, I don't think, you know, this is like an EB game, man. i rather like let him rush, you know, uh, Manta into BKB. Uh, because if he has a Manta and a BKB, uh, he doesn't need like the, you know, like the burst from the EB, man. He can just Manta wave close to AA or ES and then BKB and then just pop Manta and then kill the supports, you know. At least the Earthshaker and then AA are just going to be food if he can close the gap. Mm -hmm. Okay, at but the top, fighters has been happening. Oh, boy, got caught him. Huh? By the cox, oh, Airshaker tried to help his buddy over here with a nice fisher, but still not able to kill this army. But now the dogs, uh, I mean, saw the white spread with the assets. They managed to get a kill on this dog's here, a return kill. They can actually get a try, get, try to get a kill on this engine over here, but at the bottom, once again, Rogue Race has been gone down. Senjin trying to make his out of its way alive, but still can't able to survive. That's the reason about the cooldown. Managed to get a double kill over here. Man, that burst, man. Oh my goodness. So much damage, man, from this voice spirit. Yeah, like I said, I, I feel like, man, even if he goes for that Morphling goes for EB, it's gonna be a problem, man. If he get bursted down, then he's the mid and then he dies without any contribution. It, it, it I don't know, man. It, it, it sets him back a lot, you know. Anyways, that was a nice rotation from Void Spirit. And because of that, he's top network right now. <sighs> um, not gonna get this rune anymore either. Well, I guess you guys always there to protect that power rune. Oh, I think our chicken is dead. <laughs> Not really, his friend is coming over here with the uh, coal fade. Okay, at the top, Underlord actually solo died towards his dog. Says it's a really well played by this guy, but before that, at the bottom, Godlike, it's about engine totems, engine kinda getting healed up by, thanks to the Phoenix War here. And then I'm not gonna even connect on this engine. Nicely, really well played by this. And he tried to escape, but never mind. Dr. Stage does not pulse slightly hitting over onto the Sen who tried to tip it back to the base. But sorry for the potion fire. He just now dived to help his fellow teammate over here. Part of the scene we don't already, but they form into their ancient apparition over here to make sure this fellow rival over here. But Chopper Bobun is still alive. Doesn't have a lot of matter to get a kill on this voice, which so is just gonna actually get back. Not that Underlord, he died to two Iron Shield and the uh, uh, and the wall, man. Man, I, I oh man, that was so surprising. I was thinking he won't die, you know, at least to this guy. Bottom man, they I don't know how they responded so quickly, man. If Archeko was caught alone, he he would have died, man. Uh, because of the teammate, he survived. Otherwise, he would have surely died. 
So yeah, I have a little doubt, uh, KV. So you know like this Underlord's Atrophy Aura, the plus 40 bonus damage. So when he gets um, caught up by the Wall of Replica, does his illusion still have the 40 Atrophy damage as well? Yeah man, it's the same. They, they get the same. It's just like... Uh, what do you call it? It's like TB, you know, like when he's playing versus Veno or like playing versus VS or like when they have like passive auras, right? Then yeah, he starts getting that thing is the same the same mechanic you can get the uh, What do you call it? the Vladimir effect the aura or like the v uh, VS passive Damage aura. Yeah, it's a, it works the same man Hmm, makes sense. Well, it's a 10 minute mark. Not much of a looking any dif difference over what is a net worth over here, but still. I think the game really starts after Yachika finishes up his blink dagger. But before that, they have made up a smoke play over here. Yachika has the ancient apparition. Still haven't reached up a level 6 yet so far, but still. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Maybe he actually thought the ancient was reached, reached up his level 6, but it seems it's, it wasn't the case. So, yeah, uh, they will just break the smoke now itself. This jug is up a hood already. M O M. Is this thing is still. I mean, yeah, I remember like the law. Like few patches ago, the Jagnaut people have been getting this uh, mask mana just to make sure they get get a kill along with this Omnishless. Like they were just uh, tap it when they're using the Omnishless. Uh, but uh, is it still okay? Aren't, aren't like people have been rushing the bad fury in this time time center? I I think it's pretty okay, man. And on top of okay. that, he got the possessed mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, the top. Our fight has been coming. Oh, my dad, trying to. Oh, nice, too, man. Hook shot. But even the god has been caught up by the. Uh, a cogs over here. But still, never mind. Sendin was already low, it seems. So he just died to, under the tower over here. Oh, at the man. Now, man, just a morphling who's just now gonna die with one fissure. Agents of the void. See this A and ES when they play together, you know that cold field is always gonna like always gonna land because of that fissure. Like all they have to do is like land cold feet and then ES will one fissure and then they are gonna get caught there. And now ES has uh, sorry that A has got an uh, ice plus, so they can always execute this combo and then even just these two support they are gonna dish out a ton of damage, man. And then on top of that, if this voice spirit can come with his like. Uh, what do you call like he, he can just use to you know like he can dish out like 500 damage that's a hero dead man at this point hmm. well it seems like the senjin has been calling for a smoke play over oh, here he does have a smoke in his pack mm, let's see what is what's gonna really happen even mk arjun and tp2 was the top oh before that morphling he actually got caught up dead Void Spirit, oh my god, I haven't even witnessed this fight in the mid, but never mind, still. That's a really well played by his Void Spirit over here. Oh yeah, it was the Asian Emperor who was the <laughs> Ice Plus towards the mid, and he just nuked, nuked under him. Okay, never mind. Okay, Arjun yeah, actually voice. getting on top of the boy cow over here. This guy is quite tank with the help of the urn as well. Poor, dived up. Egg has been used already. Down to stand. There's a blade fury along with the normal hit. Cash hits hits over this egg, but it's not gonna happen. Just one one hit away. This guy is still gonna survive. I used to dive already. And the is dead with uh, along with the fisher, make sure making sure to get a kill on the Phoenix over here. Like the entire item is at the top right now. Rock nice is Casually trying to catch up any, any people who they, who they actually they're gonna fight. Oh, Ice Plus instantly oh, right on the face of the uh, mob fling, but Onish has been used on top of the Sengen over here. Clockwork is gonna go down. Arjunan, does he have a Hooker Samai? He doesn't, doesn't still have a Hooker Samai. You will see along with the Gold Spurs, the Echo Slam has been coming just to make sure they get a kill on this uh, carry play over here. Okay, now Fusion has been used, but never mind, this guy is still full of healthy. Man, like I said, man, the combo is so easy to execute, man. Cold feed into Fisher or like cold feed into Resonant Gaze. Yep, even the other remnant is there to make sure to get a kill on this dog here. Doctor Strange not gonna even let this peaceful dog here getting out of his way, making sure to slay his head as well. Is under attack. 
Well, let's wait of wait for a sea bed, I guess, for the morphling. Since the spike already started with the ancient appearance ice blast and the follow through of the nuking damage from the voice pad or even the fisher, Earth Shaker almost finished up his blink dagger. It's gonna be one of hell of a match. Already took a lead going on as the, the 15 minute mark. Okay, now he's going for the battery fury over here, Athena. Archaker is gonna finish his uh, dagger like pretty soon. Yeah, at the top, Boyka got caught up by the Senji Nice Hook Shot. I suppose that's been used, but not gonna be any follow up, so just never mind. Alright, get ready to see some echo because that Archaker just <laughs> bought his, uh, what do you call, dagger. Yeah, yeah. Like the last game, ATP was one guy. Oh, actually, Rock Prince at the top. I'm not sure like why he went over there. So he's probably gonna get cut and tired as well. Actually, you know, like you know, yesterday's game, the ATP who played a really a brilliant air shaker, and uh, nevertheless, even this air shaker really plays well. Uh, the last time he uh, did uh, some uh, brilliant echoes against the Ares Fight team. I mean, he was one of a uh, playmaker for the Rock Knights. Let's see who I feel like what he's up to in this game. Uh, see the support, the Archica, he got his like core item and then right now I feel like uh, Radiant, they really need BKB on the course pretty fast because even this uh, Void Spirit, he's gonna get his axe and then once he gets his axe, it's gonna be silence, disable, stun, silence, disable, stun. Unless they have like some sort of BKB, you know, they are not gonna like be able to move, you know, once they get caught, man. This is what I'm worried about. Well, the e is up for the power fling. They might try to do a smoke play out here. Sinjin have like a freaking three smokes in his pack. Oh, Athena oh, actually no. tried to use up a Omni Slash, but the fog of war is there. No, no, no. He couldn't you know what happened? Him. He was he he wanted to uh, Omni slash and then use MOM, but instead before Omni he used his MOM, so like he had to back down. And then meanwhile, uh, this uh, what do you call this dark sea? He was scared that he's gonna you know like, get Omni slash, so he dropped his wall. <laughs> Both of them yeah, uh, but, made some misplay. But you uh, yeah, but you see like it's not that he's scared, but this thing actually works. Like whenever he's in okay before that at at the bottom. Fisher has been used on top of the Sengen and the Clockwork, he's probably gonna go down as soon as after all the nukes down on his head. Okay, like, so yeah, I will talk about this right now. So you know like the Wall of Replica, like if he uses Omnishash on top of the dog's head and he runs inside the Wall of Replica, Juggernaut's illusion will pop up, so he can just dodge yes, the Omnishash yes, yes. from and there. And then it will share something. some of the damage. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah. But that Juggernaut, did you see he was waiting here for a while? Probably he was telling that, A, hey, you know, uh, throw your blast so that I can Omni him. But like, it didn't come and then so they made some misplays. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but I right mean, now, I really hate this global hero store. Like, they're super annoying. Man, this Radiant is not doing good, man, right now. I mean, they have the farm, like, Morphling has got an EB right now, but uh, I really hope he makes his BKB next item. He's queuing an Axe, but I, I really hope he goes for a BKB first, and then maybe he goes for an Axe, because uh, the, their stuns, they have got so many stuns and disables and silence, you know, soon. I think they'll start knocking high ground before he finishes his BKB if he goes for an Axe. Well, Diadem with the four man was. They already used up the, all of the. At least not the Echo. That's a Fisher and Ice Blood. Doesn't matter, but still. They should have known that the smoke didn't broken, but never mind. <laughs> Jack finish is Battle Fury, man. And I think it's pretty decent, you know. I mean, not that good, not that, not bad either. Yeah, I think it's good timing. Sure thing, dude. 
Okay, send him the rocket pack. Yeah, He's scouting yeah. a bot, but this time is it actually oh. gonna work? Oh, it actually freaking work! The, the wall of replica, and that is the, with the help of the E blade and the adaptive stack combo. Make sure they get a kill on this juggernaut. And god like he got caught off guard. This couldn't even echo on anyone over here. Dog said, make sure they get a kill on this change over here. And egg has been popped up. Is anyone even gonna do anything about this? But Chopper Bob and he said to make sure they get a kill on the change who, who was only the only guy to hit, hitting the egg over here. Okay, more from the L checker doesn't have Agnes to accept her to jump on the people so it probably just gonna take this like out a for bit now. of luck also man that omni slash went on the illusion then like yeah i mean that's the thing we were talking about yeah. he got caught Living if earth checker didn't get caught i think there might be like uh, been an event trade because he can echo and then the ice blast was coming you know so even morph might have died this build that morph is going for if he doesn't snowball then uh, he might lag behind but you know because of that engagement okay at least he's getting his uh, axe pretty soon so like uh, hopefully he he you know like he's able to farm the bkb also immediately Well, they got back, they took an interval once again. Not gonna way, take any guy, chances. This yeah? This guy, what's his name? Void um, Spirit, he finishes uh, Axe. So now they have to be really careful. It's gonna be sad. Oh, he... He had to have died even once in this game so far. So yeah, why not? He has to be careful. So with that being said, they probably... If he dies now, he's gonna give a yeah, lot of yeah. pulls. I think they like uh, they're probably gonna wait for the another smoke play over here since they haven't used up the uh, last echo, and even the size plus is uh, only low cooldown, uh, low cooldown ability. So yeah. See, uh, do you see this observer observer at bottom? This is really good work. Man. They uh, they have a sentry right here, but they they don't see it, you know. So they are not expecting to be a uh, you know vi to for the enemy to have vision here, but it's giving quite a good vision, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Senjin, as usual, helping his teammate not to get get caught under any of the smoke plays over here. Even Morphling feels something is bad, so it's just gonna waveform as soon as he some bro uh, <laughs> some smoke paper has been broken now. But now Juggernaut, God is DD. Actually, pinging over this Roshan. I think uh, they can. Not sure, like the right time even the underlord is super far away you know they are partly tanker but still he does have a healing if you want to use it and use it right now story option actually super nearby I, now he revealed up his agnes scepter man trying to make sure to get this push and fight and show you enough push and fight him to die instantly see man that well that would be a spirit. free roshan mm -hmm. void spirit and earth shaker man Two skills, three skills man, three skills and he died From full uh, HP bro Even though they kind of won the last fight, they made sure to secure this Shrosh and I mean they, they were like pretty much lucky since the DD was there So with yeah. this Even though they didn't get anything out of the two smoke plays so far, they got the edges right now Let's see how this fight is actually gonna happen I hope like Senjin tries to interrupt the air checker once again like he did at the bottom fight. Well, he already spotted out the juggernaut. Oh, he has an Agnes Scepter, right? Very nice. MK. Oh, actually spotted out this dog over here. And Juggernaut kind of a miscommunication. He is literally outside of his fellow teammates place i thought it has been committed only gonna connect out is the mk probably not gonna be helpful with this but yeah guess we never saw the use outside of the uh, wukong's command wall here and then you have already on me make sure to get a kill on this go mk already who's been dead and juggernaut is getting oh nice echo slam on top of the morphling only even the vessel has been used the use use separate is the uh, can they actually nuke down this morphling yeah they, they actually make sure they do it Four down on to this all for DG, all for DG is the raiding team. Uh, the supports are a bit far, man. Jug shouldn't have like died and wasted the DGs there. 
Well, Fortunately. they still have an underlord who have like extra damage, so they still can take this uh, tower, you know. They can take the tower, but uh, they would have preferred if Jack didn't die. I mean, I, uh, underlord was a bit behind. I maybe you know like uh, they need a pipe and maybe a lotus in the dire team. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, meanwhile uh -huh. this, uh, Offling, he needs to get his BKB asap, man. If he had BKB right now in that engagement after killing that Jack, he would have just BKB then walked out. They actually respected the MK's respawn time <coughs> and instantly moved back. Actually, they retreated back as soon as the MK respawned. I'm not like, that was, that was really nice call given by the captain. Anyway, the tier 1 tower at the bottom is still up here, so they would probably take it down right now. I'm not sure like why they're scanning. I mean, it should be obvious, but yeah, still okay. You know, no that Jug, they, that Jug, like when Morphling he beat him in Fox, you know, they should have known that they have got Observer there. You see that the uh, Observer, because of that, he died, man. Like he... Okay, he Fireman Smoker right on top of the ancient apparition at the back line. But he's still alive, you still got him for now, man. Ice has been already used. I'm sending him make sure to go down. He'll have nicely done by the Wukong coming over here. But that is the active shot coming up from the Morphling. Nicely revealed by him. He actually spawned out the air checker, made sure to be become himself. And with that being said, three gone down for the rogue knights. They didn't have the echo slam to start with this time though. But still, Morphling tried to catch some people. Yes, he can actually kill this juggernaut if he can actually run the perfection. Or he, uh, he still made sure to get a kill on the juggernaut. But he can he actually get a return kill on this Morphling? Never mind. No, the silence, the is or no or more. Oh no. He can actually kill this voice world, I guess? No, man, no. They need A to kill that more, man. Yeah, and this uh -huh. Ice player, as a mid! He wave found instantly, but still got caught up by that. He's probably gonna get back for a while, since even the glyph has been used. That morph is like. Oh, how much, man? Wow, 1.5k got away from his PKB. Once he gets his PKB, he's playing good. It's gonna be a bit trouble, so. Oh no! Hookshot tried to but miss, but still now my ancient but still would go down. Oh, other man, Morphling, he actually got caught up. Four men for the diet team, we still made sure to away from out of this fight somehow. Yeah, guys, when you're probably gonna get caught up on top of the two over here. Doctor said, make sure to you himself so to uh, try to escape out of the stand. Uh, it kind of worked out. Only Yasha could die. Yen Chamber instantly bought back. Used to buy his blood. Their, their fighting is so weird, man. Like the supports, you know, who are not supposed to get caught. They are getting caught, you know, like uh, they are they are getting like uh, they are getting they are dying before the game, before the fights are. That, that's the reason they are losing these fights. Mm -hmm. Actually, Yen uh, pinging out the. Like he's speaking of the like ancient apparition at the back line since he instantly bought back for this fight. So if he can actually take down this ancient apparition once again in this fight, it will be really massive for the oh juggernaut instantly got caught up by the E-Blast once again. He's not he doesn't have a speed, he made sure to use it right now, even his E blast, everything speed, everything has been used right now. Looks down under the top of the tier two tower, but no, that doesn't have an echo. He's actually gonna die over here since the dog he got caught up by the uh, replica almost died. Or I mean Daiki is actually running around to get this guy okay over here. He he got dispelled over his search and the only shots has been used, no? What? Oh, the glimmer cap. So, make sure to survive, but it's not gonna survive anymore, though. More often that is this fight, Marshall sure how, though. But, but yeah, okay. For that fight, man. See, their combo is so strong that they are even. Uh, I mean, like if A connects, they are dying even without that. Uh, send then what have you done? Well, he was becoming a little giddy. Actually, still managed sure to get a kill on the same in apparition before losing out anything out of this. And that's a diamond for the HMS for the next 60 seconds. This game is going back and forth, man. And then, like, every time they are making a mistake and they are just taking full advantage of it. And then, right now, even though like uh, this guy voice speed is making a godlike, like Morphling is like, 
Morphling is still leading because like she's been getting a lot of kills and then uh, Jug Jug is not leading man like he is like he's a bit behind and not exactly behind but they they are not executing their combos correctly you know like uh, ES going in and then uh, AA blast coming in they are getting caught by that clockwork before uh, like, you know like before they can execute anything yeah i think like the air checker really needs to think about when he gets actually oh nice boundless strike but not gonna connect to the air checker instant reaction, uh, reaction uh, time coming up from the god like blinks away that clockwork is really doing a good job man he's like you know di disrupting the backline making sure that you know aa is dying before the fight starts or like earth checker is dying or like making sure that you know he cannot echo So fresh BKB is coming up from that all 4 DG Morphling even finished up his BKB also. They would probably try to do a smoke play right now, I guess. And you still have a two smokes in his backpack. Or do you say it's a five-man smoke coming up? Uh level two egg is available. Does have a glimmer cap if you want to use it. Oh it's actually one more five man smoke coming up from the diet team as well. They literally gonna engage here, but the all 4 DG actually how oh, much the and freaking bonus like on top of the walker so I mean, even the four makers have been used but doesn't matter since you have already pipe already on oh, mendaiki making sure to protect this team as much as fast as possible double kill, kill on the top of the so still doesn't matter yes instantly but bought back with it doesn't have a echo slam to deal with it oh that is the morph fisher from the morphling the guy not instantly died in that fight also like oh my god you know that fight there was at a disadvantage because they smoked and then they were walking high ground meanwhile radiant they were coming from high ground so they they popped the smoke at the same time but like they they had an advantage because they were on the high ground right so they could see and then another thing that went wrong for them was like i don't know why aa was leading man aa was leading and then they were all so crumpled together man so close and then in the cog everybody was just inside the cog man so it was so easier and then that gave them enough time to like for both the cores in Radiant to pop their BKB and just fag them out man. Like the voice, the only reason voice press uh, survived that fight is because he had a freaking Eon death. Even I didn't need to notice the shit. Yeah, Eon this. Yeah, even he would have died. But I would still prefer if he went for a BKB man. Well, Arjun and actually Spotted, got spotted by the boy cup, but still okay. Oh, nice crucial coming up from this guy. But doesn't have a boundless strike since he already used it. But nice pressure coming up from this team. It got like to make sure to say this uh, void spirit who still has a under CD for the next five seconds. That fight was. Oof. Oh, now the rush is about to respawn and then i think radiant they have got a better advantage of taking the rush this will hasten my fortress. yep this void spirit is going full damage he's getting a deadless next item so like i i think maybe the only way like see they they can still burst them down you know the morphling but it has to be like perfect you know like fisher or like the ice blast has to connect something like that man otherwise it's really difficult man because now she even has a BKB and then she's like, she's the highest net worth, she's super fat man. Well, well, Zhang Nord pops up his mana strategy just to make sure that, to scout out the Roche pit area. Uh, and this it's radiant, there. Like both the like... both team knows about this now. Mm. Both team know that there's a, the Roche is up and I, I feel like, both teams are like equally you know competent in taking the rush because monkey he can like his what do you call the wukon's command you know like around from the trees and even the dire man they can just echo into like ice blast in the pit so both of them are scared and then uh, are making once again smoke. four man smoke once yeah it's a four man smoke coming from the hour for the before going to the rush but they're trying to um gank, go, gank up on someone at least they really wants one kill like both of these people have, doesn't have a weapon the air striker even a range in apparition 
Jagan, mm. he instantly sent a weird position, but as soon as he saw that jumping uh, jumping from the Arjuna, he instantly blade furies and TP'd back to the base. Nice reaction from him too. That that spin and TP, like if I don't think if MK was MK wasn't there, maybe that Glocko would have like you know hook shot and then cancelled. If he got cancelled, he was surely dead when there. Yeah. They go for rush now. Uh, I'm not sure if they are. After they got to forced to push away, yeah. Do you think they are making a move to go and contest? Nah, they are not coming. They are too fast when they're gonna finish no. before they even come. Yeah, and they have a lot of damage to take this as fast as possible. So yeah, and second Rosh will go on his hands of the all for DJ. You used to push shot. Now I'm gonna connect with the Rogue Prince who just gonna show his hands. Tata, bye bye, see you, and he will just get back. Oh, it just is the other hands. Never mind, the set is just good, too good. Four arm, four hands. Oh, they play maker dark chair is bottom so maybe they are not deciding to go high ground yep they might try to kill maybe i don't know do you think they'll try to kill dark chair with no Your death of this is it over. Jug finishes eggs. So oh, yeah. Oh, I accept uh, this thing. You know, like this item, like really, it keeps him like super mobile in the team fights, and the castle is quite big compared to his omnisher. So yeah, you, you can just go inside and out out of the team fights when they have a lot of controls in the team. So yeah, why not? Yeah, but let's not forget, Morphling has an egg, so he's gonna get the same passive right, and then. <laughs> he can do the same thing at least for now. <laughs> and then Morphling, his base damage is pretty high. So like support ES and A, if they get slash, they're just gonna die, you know. Yeah, but I wonder though, since he's already have a lot of keys to deal with, it's a Morphling, already used up as a six keys and a swift slash would become another key. I'm sure, I'm not sure like about, hey, about it also, yeah, but okay. Morphling might steal uh, this thing, what do you call uh or Chicker Fisher, uh, or Chicker, or maybe like uh, Jack. If he steals Jack, he's gonna get like two good skills: healing wards, magic immunity, spin, and then he can hit tower. Meanwhile, like you know, keep the healing ward uh, outside range. He can spin, hit like four or five times, get back, get healed up again, then come back, and then like swift slash someone, or maybe he can take Fisher, go in totem. That's, mm, that's the thing I have actually. Yeah, that was actually, I was uh, talking about it, the drafting phase. But let's see if Dire team would actually try to do a smoke play over here. No, they were actually persist persistent about defending this TRT tower, but as a man, Arjunan made sure the pop is became before doing anything, something ridiculous, but he used to be already, Arjunan is gonna die, but no, he does have, geez, he's trying to get, get his way out of this, uh, uh, who can scam and hand, uh, can he actually survive out of this? Man, 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 Arjunan probably gonna, uh, Kill this Athena over here, yep. Even Egg has been used it to make sure that his teammate won't be able to help him. Man, he had the okay, edges. That's the only still reason there. he survived, otherwise yeah. he would have surely died. And uh, I don't think A blast is on him, right? To... Oh, not yet. The Morphling. This is not gonna die yet so far, but Yenis has been instantly popped up. He's trying to morph into the air shaker, but it doesn't matter. He got po his head got popped up, but now do they have anything to follow? He, this guy here is so full of a stand mark, but does have a BKB if you want to use it. Make sure to use it right now and wait for out of the fight right now. But Arjun and Primus Spring inside the tier 3 tower. Oh, now the hook shot, not gonna connect on anyone though, since he, this is his friend Omidake got in front of him. Uh, they're probably gonna survive out of this one for now. Sandra has been used just to make sure that Arjuna gets a, a little bit of health out of this one. BKB has been used just to make sure he gets this racks at the mid before the Juggernaut actually respawns. But now Boyka used up his rod of fat dogs, but Echo Slum has been used on top of the three. Really well spread by the squad, like, but still. 
Save this teammate somehow. Ancient apparition doesn't have, it didn't have the ice. Uh, it did have the ice, but didn't couldn't be able to use it. But now he's got the more more playing the air shaker thingy. Oh, he's not actually didn't couldn't connect on the uh, more playing at the right time. He got passed away by him. But no, no, the freaking Fisher. That's when he was on top of him. You make sure they get a get a kill on this air shaker. Three bypass coming up from the rock prince. Uh, so like it's literally 100 seconds uh, for downtime for the morphing over here. Can they actually catch some more people over here? Fisher is back. Blinked in. Two man Fisher. Athena is here. Doctor Strange. You're at the end trying to make sure to get a two or oh, two people out here. The organization has been used. Uh, but the rod coming up from the boy cover here. If you want to use it, that is the play. And that's a cold play. Would make sure to get a kill. That's a Daiki. That's a, that's a spirit for me for the rock place. Not, not to give up yet so far in this game. But Senjin, at the right time, he got the enemy rune at the top. He's got super lucky, he would just run right now. You know that Morphling, he killed, like, he took Archika's spell and then he went inside. He killed Archika and then he would have just shot them and then ran out, man. He got greedy trying to kill that army. Oh! Senjin, what up you? I still haven't died though, but God, like, I should try to make sure Ancient is killed, but he's not even gonna die for this. Godlin might even die, actually, for this. Even under lot. Oh my god, what have you guys done? That's a slight mistake coming from this guy, yeah, but Dr. Like Strange would make you sure not gonna die yet. Yeah, the Phoenix instantly pops up as egg. But still, yes, yeah, yes, okay. Diving. diving, rod, that's not enough for follow up. Let's have a bonus tag, but not gonna use it for now. But yes, it's a in that call and mm, we still haven't finished this item shot also one minute more maybe he doesn't know about this thing uh, he's queuing up that thing what do you call uh timeless relic but i feel like uh, meanwhile you know he doesn't have four stuff this spider legs is really good on him and it's saving it's saving him like in couple of times you know like right now like when they were coming high ground he got cocked and then into that replica because of the spider leg he was able to escape otherwise he would have surely died there also you know so i don't think he should like even though this timeless relic is gonna give him more spell and damage but at least for now he should hold on to his spider legs i mean i i just feel that way Well, that last yeah. fight was super weird in most of the way, you know, like if Ancient Apparition managed to use up Ice Pass as soon as he bought back on top of the, you know, this guy, uh, Morphling, who was already super low, I mean, it was like, it was like two inches, dude, it was like two inches when he just morphed into the yeah, um, checker and the, uh, right passed out of the Ice Pass, he was just jumping at that Ice Pass, we still didn't get connected, or else even the Yerchaker wouldn't have died for that one, you know. And right now, this uh, A he has like 3k gold man, and he is queuing up a hex. The problem is, will he be able to like you know like cold feet hex uh, use his uh, ice plus and you know use all his spells and die or like you know die before doing anything man? And then most of the fight like right now he has been dying before uh, before doing anything. So like I I think he has to be really careful with his like positioning man. Well, change get up for a Daedalus as his sixth slaughtered item. Does have an ancient giver in his NC. Just gonna wait for his 25th level as his step 160% crit damage, I guess. Zagonaut yet to get his level 25 so far. Get up for Abyssal Blade. What do you think about this jug queuing up an abyssal blade? Or like... I mean, that's an essential item. You can... I mean, they have like a two BKB. So yeah. And not only that, it gives him a lot of stats also. It gives him some HP. And he can stun through the... You know, like he has this omniscience and specialist and all. Like he can bash inside, inside the BKBs also. And... But he could have went for a Skadi since he has been dealing against uh, lifesteal heroes yeah. like the MK and the Morphling who was like the strength attribute thingy. I'm not sure like That's maybe he just need more form for these two items. 
Ascadi because Ascadi will like you know like reduces attack speed and then movement speed and then it reduces like what do you call uh, uh health regen HP regen and stuff so it's pretty good versus both MK uh, MK morphling and then this guy was uh oh, sorry sorry morphling and darkseer. Seems kind of a discouragement for you. I feel like this game morphling is not getting uh, sorry this jug is not getting you know like he, he his omni slashes are doing good but like they are not able to like burst the heroes down in his omni slash so he's not getting most out of it man meanwhile morphling like you know in some fights like here he is able to like be able uh, manage to get like double triple kill and stuff so that's how he got his net worth so high now let's shake things up let's shake things up Oh, if you haven't noticed about this one, like the MK, he went for the plus 200 armor Wokong Scum and instead the additional ring. And that's why he actually sustained so much of the Omni shares in the last fight, I guess. That is actually pretty good, man. Like, it's a good idea, you know, like he can just go, you know, like put his Wukong's command and then <laughs> just tank the Omni Slash, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And yeah, nevertheless, he even going for a bad if sorry, the butterfly next item, it seems the MK. And uh, it seems like Zagana still have any idea about what's the uh, next item coming up from the MK over here. So I'm not sure, like, if he's even gonna think about an MKP or even a rapier as next. I feel like. I mean, e even though Morphling is quite fat, and then this MK seems to be quite fat right now. E if like the support, the two e ES and the A, they can execute properly, you know, like uh, land the Ice Blast into like into this voice speed combo. I, I think they can still burst down the heroes, man. It's not like they are like unkillable for now, you know. They even they have a lot of burst damage, man. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, uh, this Jock, once he uses his Omni Slash, he's like dying to that Morphling EB, man. Somebody has to save him from that EB combo, you know? Like, eh, what? even in the middle fight when they fought with MK, he, like, he Omni Slash and then Om MK somehow survived it, like, because of the cheese, and then he started running away when his spin was on CD. And maybe if a support like A or somebody has, like, a glimmer or something like that like every time he uses his ss he and then he's running away he supports or so like people are not there to save him man hmm like the both of the cores like both of the cores actually be like for a butterfly as soon as I, I was talking about the freaking mkb but now famous smokes coming up from the diet team so, so the radiant team probably gonna be the last fight i guess i mean they already used up a plenty of bypass from the diet team um let's see who they're gonna find out actually they did the right scan i guess actually yeah, somehow the diet team knew something was wrong they yeah. they, they, they used uh, this thing man uh, what do you call uh Scan. Shit, I forgot the name. Yeah, they they scan. Maybe they will <laughs> wait for next rush. And then they use scan, and then they saw the rocket coming. Now, so they knew from which direction they are coming. I was thinking that he's gonna hook into A or ES, man. But I, I didn't hook. Yeah, and Doctor Strange be like, oh, my spider senses are tingling, something is going wrong, let's go back to the base, retreat! And just like that he went. I like this, I like this Q by this Underlord, when he's queuing up a Lotus Orb, so like now if he can Lotus that, uh, what do you call, mm, the Jug all the time in fights, I think he's gonna have a lot of impact, man. Oh, at the top, actually he spotted on this engine, does some of us if you want to use it, make sure to use it, but now, man, he's instantly gonna get both of but the Arjun on top of the two, use of a bonus strike, but instantly use of the armor strike, he's just gonna tank everything, around just like the topic of the two, plus 200 armor, out of the hook of command, I guess, when he was inside the every or not the team, fire championship got, uh, freaked up in the back lines, but Underlord, even this guy can't even tank up with this thing, but Armin, with the help of the vacuum, 
I caught up and the god like this he used up his mob playing even extra experience but there's a silence for the dark race can he actually get a kill in the bottom gang he's gone what? for the next hundred seconds that fight is so weird they are fighting there and then they the, the morph is alone fighting inside well he morphed into your second he did the right thing but still he was expecting that it's a doctor strange silencing up i guess maybe but special has been used vacuum as a double vacuum is allowed to make me for the under nice freaking cool girl out of the two others with the bound last time make sure to get a killer this doctor strange a bit especially if it doesn't have a bye bye yeah it's a bye bye should i back on him huh Four man goes trying. Zhang and I used to fight for gun, trying to come into the fight. They still have a two rice available. If, that, they, if that, they want to go and died. push onto this one, that voice yeah. speed died for 100 seconds without five bag man. That's so sad. Yeah, that's really terrible for them. That voice speed didn't have, don't have five bag man. I, I'm not sure if they know or not man, but. Yeah, oh, Hoxie yeah, finished up his Agnum Scepter. Double Leon Shell Chargers even gives them an extra health, I guess. Makes them super tanky. Whoever gets the Eon Shell. Uh, Blink Dagger also. Uh, they really tried hard, but everything is falling apart right now. After that one fight at the mid, you know, the couple of bypacks which has been used from the Rogue ro ro Knights. I mean, that's where it all act actually turned. It it's a kind of a slow poison for them right now, but Arjun and he is actually solo Roshan. Doing the solo Roshan thingy. And the third Rosh gone. He's getting the refresher open. Oh, he's giving refresher the refresher open. And so I, I feel I mean, like the Agnes blessings. You know, he, uh, what do you call him? Uh, this A he should like he, he need to spend his item man. He's gonna die without like because he's dying so I think he need to get an escape item, maybe a glimmer or something man. He needs something to save himself because at the end like he started dying at the beginning of the fight, which is like being uh, He has to make sure that yeah. you know, he he's able to like throw his combo before dying man. Well, the butterfly has been delivered up already, and after the last fight, yeah, Jagannath should have been made sure that he, he should have went for a rapier or an MKB by maybe even selling one of the items, maybe? I mean, that wasn't the case, but still, uh, Jagannath really not gonna be any, anything doing in this fight. Back, so he should just buy his item for now, man. <laughs> Uh, it's still not the last time they need, they doesn't really need to use everything out here but Swiss has been used on top of the Arjun and he's actually gonna go down since he doesn't still have a edges but change in at the back line trying to use use up his over clock as well trying to use up the another clock and make sure to get a catch up on this job chain but it's still up okay Edna trying to survive somehow as much as possible doesn't have a bait for you and he will go on the right back over here he break combo use that to make sure to get slay his egg head and the uh, bottom axe has been gone the top axe is still available there but all four of them has been pushed on to near the fountain chopper pops off his bkb trying to ensure but the glyphs is still there uh um, dark man Roar! So I'm saying trying to make sure to get a kill on this piece over here but it's a nice uh, three man bed and a two man I uh, coming out on top of this guy. Sensei probably gonna go down after this man. The dragon with this clockwork but still rapier. Rapier has been freaking picked up for this uh, Arjun and the MK still uh, coming back in the Korea but already Megas has been cleansed by the R4DG over here. Are they gonna give up? Are they gonna call GG? Not yet so far but still. They're not gonna casually get this uh, TAG tower and the med but and then it goes down. Oh, no! That's the thing. Yeah, the voice pretty got it. Has, doesn't have any more answers there. But the chopper is there. Make sure to get, clean up the rest of the uh, rock nets over here. But it's the one and one leader voice pretty who is still here. However, doesn't have the dome if you want to use it. Just make sure to use it for pop. Pop is more. He needs one freaking right click to make sure to get it. Some who kill this morphling over here. The, the ancient is falling off. It's only 15 more seconds available. Phoenix does have a glimmer cap if you want to use it. Make sure you use it. Not gonna die either. But. Never mind the ancient falls on now. Game goes for the R4 DG here. GG well, well played. Victory, man, for disruptive gameplay. Yep.
I guess there's a lot more matches up for NC and out.
town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Hello, hello, hello. Yo, uh, let me fix can it. One sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, I think you're gonna join the party, bro. Yo, buddy. Yeah, I can hear you. Wonderful. All right, so we got ourselves a treat Yo, what's over up, here. Man? I'm... Check one, check one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, loud and clear. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Shit. My voice. My audio is really, really low. Let me just quickly. Uh, if I'm cranking, I'm really sorry, guys. I just finished the game and uh, straight up. 
came off to casting. It's fine. But anyways, I think everything will be sorted because we have one of the most anticipated games of the day, or for the event or the group itself. Randoms going on team overpowered. Both the teams are really really strong coming into this tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a team average for both the teams is around uh, 7k. What do you guys think? Man, I'm so hyped for this match, man. Like, it's it, let's just be honest, man. It's like a top Indian players duking each other, man. So, and like, it's the I think top favorites of the tournament, right? So, yeah, we think, have uh, five seconds mm -hmm. remain. a lot we of have... everybody will be watching this, man. Like, they'll be looking out for the drafts and picks, right? So, yeah, we have very noticeable names in the lineup. We have like Pasol, No Chance. And we have Negi, like who recently hit uh, 9k MMR. Oh shit. And we have uh, K1 Carry, ASD. One of the best okay, carries so in India right now. What I can notice is like yesterday, overpowered pick Batrider. So I think Randoms has been respecting Batrider a lot, man. Like Batrider is completely broker at the moment, man. Five seconds. Truth. But and the Soneko he played yesterday as next, and he was like quite good on his next. So I think it's like one of his comfort picks. But this time around, it's Team Randoms who has picked up next, right? In response yeah. to the Keeper of the Light. Both these picks are mm, one of the most favorite heroes in the current meta. Like uh, KOTL has gotten a lot of new changes coming around. I think he has more spells than Invoker right now, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Once he has his axe and stuff. But both are quite complex here, man. You need to be good at it to like play good, man. Have an impact, I mean. Especially Beast next, man. Master. Definitely. Okay, Beast Monster. Oof, this... Like, Go on, it's one of your favorites. Seven. Actually, mm -hmm. it is, man. I'm surprised it got out, though. I mean, uh, there's no other uh, stage than to take Beast Master, right? The first phase is... One of the best ways to get the hero because there is a probable chance that all the good players or the good teams know the power of the hero and they would like to make the maximum out of it. Yeah, and another thing is like as soon as they pick Beastmaster, they didn't hesitate one second to pick CM and I think so team randoms might be quite well prepared though for this Beastmaster. Yes, I believe uh, Crystal Maiden has a beautiful kit in order uh, to answer the Beastmaster's pressure yeah, exactly. in lane. Yes. Yeah, and then most of his uh, like link it with another aggressive carry, and then they can like subdue the beast master in the own lane, man. Definitely, that uh, frostbite really kicks in, uh, shutting down the bore in lane, especially since frostbite works for more seconds on a creep rather than a hero. Guys, does frostbite also so if, uh, um, work for just as long on necro books? It does. Uh, I believe so. Yes. It does. It works okay, on summon creeps, no? Yeah, the, the, I guess we can ask the Beastmaster professional in this <laughs> casting panel. Professional? <laughs> Oof. So, to be honest, I'm not sure though. <laughs> Please do clarify like this. How does CM work? I mean, uh, I, I believe it depends upon the type uh, what Necrobook is. Whether if it's a summon, it should carry the same properties as a hero. Because you can't freeze a golem for 10 seconds, right? Yeah. I think you're right about that. Okay, looking at the bans, man, what do you think, man? Like, they've been banning all the broken heroes, man. Lycan, Ricky, I think, and even Morphling. So, like, you expect these bans to happen, right? Like, none of the... Uh, in the earlier tournaments matches now, what have they... Uh, like, what they have been doing is, like, they're trying to make secure the carry lanes farm. So, they've been banning uh, obnoxious offliners. But look at their matchup, man. These two respect these two respect each other individual skill players, right? So they're banning those broken heroes, which can be abused, like by a just by skill sets, right? Like Ricky, you know, man. Even if he gets a bad fa farm in this patch, once he gets his bad skill, it's like seconds. broken broken hero, man. Oh. Definitely. So they straight up go for the Phantom Assassin third pick. Phantom Assassin. Ooh. What do you think of this Phantom PA pick, though? PA versus Beastmaster. I was wondering K Dog could answer that, but uh, I don't know. Hello, K Dog? Uh, I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm not such a big fan. I mean, obviously, PA Fury is nice to deal with the creeps and all that. 
but I feel like uh, like PA you're gonna get BKB you know at some point and that's when you hit your power spike right you BKB and then you throw daggers and you're critting all over the place and nobody can stop you but here they have a beast master who's gonna pierce that BKB yeah, that and is true. put you right there you know and PA doesn't have that much like HP and stuff if you can control her you can burst her so I'm not sure what exactly but the other thing yeah what I think is like I would have I wouldn't have agreed with that PA pick but syncing with the seam it's quite good though to be honest like mm -hmm. if the boss like Beastmaster can't lane if the boar is not alive right they've got two ways to destroy that boar man one is one is stifling dagger and another is like the nukes so it's gonna be hard lane for the Beastmaster though that kind of keeps the PA in a safe place, right? With the uh, ah, dagger yeah, exactly. in her skill set. Like, she doesn't have to get close to the boar. Like, you just need to th uh, throw a couple of spells in order to keep the boar out of uh, the picture. And PA at the same time, it'll be difficult uh, for Beastmaster to hunt down this carry, uh, uh, like, later down the game because of her uh, third spell blur. Uh, which will make her invisible and be very safe to farm in NCs as well. So I believe PA is a very solid uh, response when it comes to Beastmaster. Man, but and... I was all all like all like for that pick, but as soon as I saw that Dark Willow pick, I'm a bit worried for that CM though. Because you know it man, that CM is gonna be playing aggressive, like trying to nuke that bore out, right? He's gonna be out of position for one second and then he's gonna pay for it for the like with the Bramble Maze man. So it's gonna be yeah. action packed that top lane though. Okay, what what oh that storm pick. Oof, that is actually a good pick, man. With like all the bands are out, man. Like Void Spirit is out, Puck is out, Nyx they have picked. I think it's a free game for Storm at the moment. Yeah, most of the CC uh, crowd control coming out from overpowered seems to be single target. Unless mm. or until KOTL gets an axe and come out with the Willowers. Yeah. So in that uh, situation, I believe Storm is uh, quite a decent pick coming out from Team Randoms. Yeah, but I like that Storm pick a lot though. However, at the that. same time, they have two picks, uh, two heroes in order to counter that Storm pick. So that's questionable. Yeah, but guys, you know what I really uh, like about what, Randoms, says... about what Randoms, Randoms has done yeah, is... Um, like they've picked their carry and they've picked their mid. And normally, you know, you try to save yep. your mid pick for last because you're like, oh, it's a skill based matchup, it's mostly one on one. But here, randoms have given their yeah. offlane the advantage, you know? And like, one thing I like about this mindset is that if you win your offlane and you give your offlane a good lane, he's basically gonna control the entire map for you. You know, he gets like your early blink or, you know, mm -hmm. your early greaves or pipe or whatever. And he gives you that sustain to sort of hold the game mid game. So I feel like I really like their mentality of like securing that offlane pick for last and sort of giving him the advantage they need to sort of get ahead in the game. Or is it because uh, the highest MMR in the room, so he deserves a priority on the last pick, who knows? I don't think that's the case man, like looking at their draft, <laughs> nah, it might be that too, like there's no, like I can't be sure about it but... Like he like, can boss around you know, like bragging right? You know? The another thing, uh, thing about like Beastmaster pick is you gotta pick it early. It's gonna be banned anytime soon. Like if it gets out at a uh, picking phase, so it might be like a rushed call to pick Beastmaster. Beastmaster, though, right? Yes, I have seen a couple of games uh, of all these players from randoms. They really like to play it, uh, you know, like uh, aggressive and also uh, united at the same time. So, um, and. When it comes to mid-game fights, it is the offlane who kind of sets up most of the fights and battles. So if you have a solid view on what the opponent heroes have at the moment and pick it at the last, yes, like as K-Dog mentioned, it will be uh, definitely a game-winning yeah. move for drafting wise. Like, now look at the dire... and both both teams knows, man, what's coming. They are banning carries in the Raven side and they're banning offlanes. So, I think... What, what do you think the last picks are gonna be, though? Like, I feel like um, Team Overpowered, they need some over, like like the name, team name says that they need an overpowered carry, man. And I feel like TB is good enough, man. TB and Beastmaster like are so good. Like, I, I feel they need someone who can uh, 
build an MKB probably. I think probably oh, that's yeah. why they picked up a Wind Ranger as well. So uh, that might answer uh, PA's pick. So they don't necessarily have to pick someone who could build another MKB. So they could slightly turn around uh, uh, Troll. Troll, but, uh, actually, exactly. As we speak, but the bad Troll day. got banned. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I was about to say the same thing, bro. Troll would have been so good right now, man. Like, true. But sadly, they read them, man. Like, the, the last ban was on the point, man. Troll. So, what do you think is open for them? MK, maybe? MK is actually quite good. Uh, MK game. seems good, yes. Uh, the high armor produced uh, while Lalti kind of saves him from PA. Faceless void. Oh, Faceless Void. Wow. That's something new. I thought this hero was dead, to be honest. <laughs> The last time I saw Fist in game was like, I don't know, man, two months ago. I like it. Last patch, maybe. I like it. Dude, uh, dude. your Nyx Assassin okay. and your uh, Crystal Maiden, one time dilation, they're not moving anywhere, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good counter for Storm, too. Yeah, and. So, what do you think is the Radiant. And PA though? jumps on you, starts like slapping you. you a little bit, boom, Chronosphere. And then, you yeah, know, you boom. smack him, too. Chronosphere. I, really like <laughs> I like it, man. Oh, Pagna pick. Oof, that's what you were talking about, man, doggy. Like, with that last pick, they can complete the... Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. That's an offlane Pagna, right? Negi's no. Negi's gonna be playing mid. Looks like an offlane Storm. Probably. Stall. Negi is the offlaner? Offlane Storm? I mean, Negi is known <laughs> for his offlane role, but what are we getting here? I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> bro, this caught me off guard, Dude. bro. I was thinking it's a... I mean, oh, I'm wow. an advocate for Storm 4, so if it's Storm 3, I like it too. <laughs> no, no complaints uh, like from me. I mean, feeling, uh, man, like, uh, even in, in last game, I believe ZXE was an MK and he was playing mid, and Moon Moon was an IO and he was playing carry, and Negi was in some other role playing offline. I think Batrider. Uh, no, Wind, Wind. Right. Bro. So, Wind, yeah, this Wind is Rider, he was playing something, offline. man. Like, these guys are, uh, like, I feel like. The overpowered came with a like mentality to win hardcore stomp, while like randoms just brought up some weird ass picks, man. <laughs> with that last two picks, though. I mean, like, nah, I would they have, have agreed Nyx... sending this void. Uh, sorry, Pagna against Void, though. It's not bad, man. But if you're like yours, you guys are saying it's gonna be offlane storm spit. That's... No, no, no. I believe they're going to switch uh, lanes and roles as well. Oh. Let's we see. Will... Uh, we will find it out uh, once we find get into out, the man. game right now. Yep. Dude, the Pagna pick is... is so good though. There's something? Like, it's good against Void, it's yeah, good actually, against Windrunner, yeah. it's good against Beastmaster. Like, once you decrep your own hero mm. to save him, uh, like, the Dark Willow isn't gonna kill you, the Cortle isn't gonna kill you. Like, it's almost a guaranteed save. Oof, I, I, yeah, by the way, I wanted to ask you, man, why do you think the Thesis Void has been dead for like so long, though? Like, why don't we see that pick a lot often, though, in this patch? I wanna. Am I missing something or what, man? What happened to that hero? I don't think so. I'm uh, not really sure on that. I think we'll just quickly um, introduce the teams right now. So we have uh, randoms on the Radiant team. Um, playing off with Moon Moon on Pagna, Pasol on uh, the Crystal Maiden, No Chance playing uh, the Nyx Assassin, and Negi on the Storm Spirit, which seems to be going off lane, and <laughs> Zelexi on his uh, carry PA. Okay. I thought like. Doggy with his post 4 storm was weird, man. But a post 3 storm, that's even more weirder, man. That's a first in this tournament. That's a first, <laughs> man. So you didn't do the die side, though. Do you want to go for it? Can you go for it, bro? Alright, so we have uh, Earl playing uh, the Void, Faceless Void. That's not the first in the tournament. And we have Emkins playing Windrunner. Error playing the offlane Beastmaster and TPK also known as the Pro Kid on Dark Willow. Soneko on Keeper of the Light. Bro, Soneko, this is the second game I'm seeing his as well, right? He comes to lane and mm -hmm. instantly watch mid. Like yesterday's game, also he did that same stuff, man. 
Like, and his dewater has been on point, man, at the mid ward. It immediately immediately got dewarded right mid. So it like gives an advantage to their mid, no? In a, in a lot of ways, man. Yep. With the instant reward. So it is going to be an offlane uh, storm spirit. Let's see what Negi is up to. Looking at his queued up items, he's going for a straight up orchid on a naked orchid coming out from storm spirit. Uh, be right back, man. I'm gonna ask him. I can't move the camera. <laughs> Mid lane is going pretty smooth. Uh, I have the last hits right up. Yes, it's 3 0. Windrunner with 2 denies. I mean, the creep wave is still pushing into his tower, so he should be able to get a lot of. Oh, but nice decrease drive to counter that kill, but uh, he takes it out with a power shot. Showing the importance of a range creep in oh, my bad, missed the first blood. As expected, uh, once they hit level 2, they took out uh, this Dark Willow. I believe uh, during draft phase, Quan was like, uh, he was worrying for the Crystal Maiden to be out of position, but then it actually uh, turned the other way around and Dark Willow got taken down first. I actually feel like a lot of people uh, don't keep in mind this like level 2 surge, dude. Like. Whichever team hits level 2 first instantly gets their kill potential because they get 2 spells instead of 1. Definitely, and especially in this Crystal Maiden in uh, PA matchup, the double disable coming in, but he did opt for going for the Aura build. He feels uh, Nova is enough to take down the boar and other stuff. Quick pause coming out from uh, Team Randons. Hopefully it's just a setting issue. Yes, I'm pretty sure he got the setting right. Meanwhile, on top lane, this Nyx is really being pesky and burning out most of the mana coming out on Suneiko and this Void. It's surprising to see that an offlane Storm Spirit is actually leading in uh, CS. He's right now at 15 uh, creep kills, followed up by his teammate, Carry PA, with 16. And the next highest on the opponent team is a Beastmaster with 10 CS, who's actually facing a hard time in this game. I don't think so. That's the spirit! I'm back, man. I'm back. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. You're oh, sending? I can hear you. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Hello? So. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you, man. Loud and clear. All right, wonderful. So I was just talking about uh, what he had said earlier, bro. Like Dark Willow is gonna punish this CM in lane, but actually yeah. CM did uh, take out the first. Lane. What's happening? Why oh. is error? I think error DC. Error just DC. Uh, oh, the immediate sorry, uh, sportsmanship. <laughs> no, no, no. Not even a flame sorry. It's a genuine. I mean, at least it seems like a genuine sorry. No, no, no. Oh, oh shit. It's good, man. Professionalism, man. On the top level. <laughs> yeah, dude, I feel like actually to get to like, or to play sustainably at a high level, you have to have like very, very, a very, very positive mental attitude, you know? Like, I feel like if you get like easily tilted or triggered, it's impossible to like play at that level. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I want to agree with you in but some levels, but I feel like mm, it's debatable, man. If you are. Uh, you have to be so in some ways cocky, man, and arrogant, nah? especially if you're a mid man. Like you have to have the mentality, like, dude, no way this guy is better than me, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. As Fair like it, uh, yeah. So if like suppose you're a post five player, it's you have to be PMA. That is a given. Like 
yeah. ready to try hard till the end, right? Nice. But if you're a med, you 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 have to be like, bro, this guy just killed me, but they, they had to bring bring like three people to kill me, man. Fucking move. <laughs> and then that that's what I'm trying to say, though. I guess that's why I'm a support player. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I belong. The first ruin pop. It's a DD on top. No chance covers it for uh, Moon Moon, oh. and he should be that was a good rune. that bottled up. But I feel like uh, this Pagna pick was also so good, man. Storm is good against uh, Wind Ranger, but Pagna is much better. Like, he is having such a good network at the uh, CS advantage, though, versus a Wind Ranger. But don't you think uh, Storm would have done uh, decent against this Windrunner in lane and could have just taken another regular off lane, maybe? Mm, yeah, but. In oh, that case, see? in that case, they would have done the same, but in the same manner, Pagna can have the same farm but have the more pressure against the tower though. Like Storm can't do the power uh, tower pressure though. That makes sense, yep. I mean, looking at his build right now, he has three points into uh, the nether blast and uh, almost one fourth of the tower's HP has gone down. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're trying to go on this PA. I believe they were going on the Beastmaster. He fell down to 200 points of health. And he's quite having a very, very bad time. But uh, usually, the level 1 book should be finished when he hits level 6. But looking at his farm right now, I think it's gonna be delayed till 7. Uh, levels, hmm. I guess. Bro, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised how Storm is at the highest, like, one of the highest uh, CS, man. Like, amazing, right? <laughs> As a post three. Yep. Like, I hope no other people don't pick that shit up, man. Like, it's Storm is not oh. supposed to be offline, guys. Please, don't. <laughs> Mid lane. <laughs> Come on. No chance wraps around this Wind Ranger, throws out that uh, mana burn. Wind Runner has no mana left right now. He, but uh, a fresh bottle gets delivered for him, and the bounty is also nicely secured for in order for him to reach the bottle. I mean, this stone spirit. He's. I, I'm guessing it's mostly because of the position five picked on um, Team OP. It's because of, since KOTL does not have that much catch or punish for this hero, that Storm is getting away with the lane. Yeah. Okay, now slowly, Faces Void is catching up though. I feel like these picks, like laning stage is one thing dude, like I think Storm is a very strong laner, but I think when it comes to like your mid-game skirmishes and stuff like that, when you mm. need like your traditional off laner, I feel like that's when we'll start to see how effective the Storm really can be. Yeah, or, exactly. Or not be, rather. Uh, like yesterday's game, Team Overpowered, the laning phase was, you might have, uh, it was going even out, even out, right? And then as soon as the 13 minutes hit marked, right? Once Beastmaster came online, he first rotated to bottom tower, then mid, and then slowly they started covering the whole map, man. And I feel like it's gonna oh, happen soon, though. They oh, he missed it. The Impel gets six, a little got out of line, shot. and Windrunner just runs away. Meanwhile, the supports react immediately. <laughs> Hope this happens in one of our games. <laughs> I mean, immediately mm -hmm. there's a Dark Willow and a KOTL TPing to mid in order to save this Windrunner. However, that kind of stops the aggression coming out from Team Nightmares. Okay. Beastmaster is so close to his. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's, it's, it's a. Uh, 9 minutes? Maybe it's gonna take him 10 minutes though. Mm -hmm. uh, his Necro is, uh, I'm not gonna lie, like if you have a super blind with Beastmaster, you can have it at minute 8 man. Or ma even in minute hard 7. But like, it's not going the same way for him though. How are the supports doing though? Like, the, the game is quite... Uh, stable at the moment though. Like there's not enough. I think uh, support seem to be focusing around mid to just sort of take out this tier one. Yeah. And like look at it, man. Pagna is hitting the towers and like the CM and Nyx are guarding him. 
with this map mid opening lane. at mid, it's gonna be hard for the dire side man. Like once Pagna gets this mid tower, he's just gonna rotate side lanes to take the other towers, right? Yeah, and I think the counter oh, this they're trying to put pressure on most. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're they're getting prepared to counter push though. Oh, Void walks in, uses Chrono, but completely oh, misses okay. on this Pagna. There's a decrypt thrown on himself, but it immediately ends. And oh, beautiful Impel coming out from Nordstar. He's taking out three people in the stun, but Winteranger uses Windrun and he gets most of the damage coming out. Runs out of HP, runs out. Oh, that's okay. Kevitil's in their team, doesn't matter. But beautifully, TP's out. No, he dies. That was a bit. Down that Windrunner. Yep. Like. That was a big miss from the first corner of the game, though. Like, I, I wasn't... I believe... <laughs> bit of miscommunication, I guess. movement speed coming out from Pagna. Yeah, I, 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 I like... I get that... I get it, they want to defend the mid tower, but I feel like... If they had the initial, uh, like, thought of defending it... Faces should have TP'd a bit earlier, though. So a casual orchid flying out to the stone spirit. That should be the ten minutes orchid coming out from ten North minutes North. orchid. That's a very so early. He slips orchid, in, man. pulls out the beast master immediately. Frost in does not have any time to react to this. Gang goes down right in front of these two heroes. Dark Willow, that gang was Harry. without an orchid though. Like now True. he got his orchid. Okay, comes there's in, still gang going on. the KOTL and just try life strains him. Um, but runs out of range and takes it out. No chance. Casual Vendetta walking towards two heroes. <laughs> oh, Pops hits the Vendetta on Dark Willow and the Nether Blast should bring him in. Oh. Nice life train coming out and nice saving his teammate train. as well and keeping it healthy. Dude, you know I believe... What... Uh... Mm -hmm. You know what I really like about this team? I really like how they're playing as a team, dude. Like, what I see wow. for the Storm is... That's deep. He's got an Orchid, okay? CM Aura is there to help him. Nyx has Mana Boots, Pagna has Mana Boots. Like... Oh yeah, now that I think what you're exactly right, man. Like... Uh, look at it, man. The overpowered were like... Oh, they're getting ganked uh, again. Shackle. Beautiful Shackle Storm. Catches out the CM and Pagna, but immediately taking out that seat. I mean, even with all those gangs coming in, the pressure is still on. That's the beauty of uh, Beastmaster. Yeah. Yeah. Like once he gets his level 4 boar and a book, he can easily take down the T1 towers coming out. And then the, the vision game is also on point though with the Hawks. I yeah, think they're wrapping right around now. top, man. They are going on with the uh, smoke. Does uh, Beastmaster? No, Beastmaster is falling back. I'm thinking he has the T1 tower in mind. I think they're However, ready to gank that face as well, though. Okay, Phoenix. SODs have been used by the die side. I think Storm might be caught away, man. He's out of position. Okay, but with that zip, he's safe. Zip and secure. True. Like, the, the first tier. Tower trades have been like odd, man. Mid for a off lane, uh, like safe lane tower. I think the wind range is just got gang right now with that. Oh, Storm Orphan. directly zips in, or gets the wind runner and Oof. nukes him down with the help of CM. Meanwhile, Dark Willow uses his uh, ground stun on the Storm Spirit and stuns him out. But Beastmaster rolls his puck now. Meanwhile, the backseat two man corner. Chronos the CM and Nyx, but uh, oh, nice eliminate coming down and taking down the CM. And as mentioned, a level one time duration takes down this Nyx very slow, but Pagna also goes down. Till Damn, slow. like oh, that bash the getting down at this and point the of time, Dark of is just taunting on them. <laughs> <laughs> Animation cancelling is uh, ulti in order to shake things up a bit. The reaction of the die side is also so good, man. Like, Insta Storm jumped, and then, like, they were, everybody is at mid, man. Storm jumps in again, tries to pick out this. And he missed his bro. Oh, Willow misses his ulti, so that kind of punishes his Negi. But Negi runs out of mana and goes down to this. For Dark Willow. I'm not sure if that's a favorable trade for Team Randoms. Yeah, I don't think so, it is, man. Like, but that's the case for offlane Storm, man. 
Like, he won't have, since he didn't get a bottle, so it's all in, man. He just goes in, gonna have to, like, focus one guy, and then I don't think he's gonna have the opportunity to get out, though, in this game. Like, he's not prioritizing farm so much, though. Looking around the woods, he spots this windrunner, thinking about going out of Vendetta and oh, Impels. Come, come back to stun, though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That, that rude keeping windrunner That's... in place, and Pagna just uses two spells to bring her down. Mm, like all this while, while Faces Void has been joining the gangs, right? Like, look at PA man. There's enough space, like, for the past 15 minutes, he's just been like, he's not even in the map, man, or even in the game. He's just been farming silently, bro. And like, he's like 2k ahead of the Faces Void at the moment. True, and he has op she's also opted for that Battle Fury. Yeah, and Meanwhile, like, his, his side, farm is just gonna has... skyrocket, yeah. Definitely like I'm still worried even... about like the dire side have been like constantly stacking like shit ton of ancients right who's gonna clear it man like faces <laughs> face... like faces war is not going for battlefield right who's gonna clear it though I mean the way like, this is I mean, going uh, beastmaster can I don't think the so, beastmaster can man uh, like... I was gonna say the way this game is going <laughs> PA probably will <laughs> yeah most likely yeah I think the stack is being like primarily done for the PA though no 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 but um. I think, you know what, I think we're starting to see where the like mid-game comeback starts for like the more stable draft, you know? Like, mm. I feel like randoms, like the execution, like the conditions for victory are so much harder because of their picks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no like, chance, gets caught on top, he gets rolled immediately and lock it on the sentry, but they don't have... Uh, sadly, it's not a level 3 necro book, otherwise it would have been completely different though. Like with the roar on CD, it's gonna be hard gang right now. He's still in Vendetta, he's scouting for his team. He sees um, the heroes wrapping around for PA. Oh, he hits oh. the KOTL, impels him immediately. A decrease Damn. from Blast takes that KOTL down. No chance has been playing on point, man. With the initiation oh. and with the because. Oh, Negi, he zips Negi it, but immediately gone. gets shackled and gets punished for that, takes him down. ZXC very low. Oh, oh nice Chrono coming out from... Two-man uh, Chrono, both on the course. He takes the... Catches that PA, even the Pugna. Pugna is time deleted. Most of his spells are still on CD. Meanwhile, this... CM casts ulti, but bash down and gets down to the death. Yeah, I think uh, you, you're exactly right, man, Doggy. Once they start sticking, you can see the power of Beastmaster and the team matchup, man. Like, oh, they might be ahead in network. I'm guessing they're overstepping their uh, border yeah. here. They're still trying to pick a fight against randoms. Probably they should back a bit without any of the spells online. I can what do you think, man? Like right now they're like four K network behind, but the score is quite even, right? Yeah, I feel so like... I think most of that uh, lead was from PA. Okay. But uh, after this gank, uh, it kind of fell down a bit. <laughs> I, I want to know, man, like, what do you think the both the teams have to do, man, like, in order to get, like, ahead, now one step ahead of each other? So, here's what I see, right? For me... Oh, one second. Yeah, it seems he got kicked from the channel, <laughs> sadly. I don't think so. I, I'm, and I, I think it's a Discord channel he got kicked out from. And the chat lines are on, man. Oh, did I do that? Like, Sanjin, uh, the another thing is, like, there has not been so many tips, though. <laughs> was, they do, yes. Yeah, there were some tips on the faces void when he misses Chrono, though. I saw, like, three, four tips on him, though. Yeah. As soon as he misses first Chrono, right? So you know what I really like about Team Overpowered is that is their itemization. Like okay. Emkins, for example, is rushing this BKB. He's got Javelin and now he's going straight BKB. Mm. The second he gets a BKB, Pugna, CM, Nyx, Storm, yep. nothing. PA, Yeah, I didn't look run. at that, you're right. So, PA win run. Yeah. So I feel like, and at the same time, Void, Manta. Like, he, had, he knows the only reason, the only way he's gonna die is if he went for like a Battle Fury or something and then this Orchid is just gonna kill him every single time. Yep. First Being item Manta. A bit too greedy. Yeah. First item Manta, he survives it. And now after this, he can probably itemize better for, you know, farming or the game. So, 
really, really good item choices, I think, for the way the game is going. Okay, here they are trying to clear the ancient side. It's gonna be a struggle, but they, all, they need all the five teammates trying to clear this. Okay. Hi, boys, like, pull up your XP graphs and gold pull graphs. Up your XP graphs. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be honest man, like as a uh, these stacks now are supposed to go to the like even the XP is supposed to go solo to the carry man. That's uh, I feel I think you'd be more comfortable with that, right? The carry getting three levels from one five stacks of ancients man. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but because uh, as a suppose you just need some you know power spike levels like level six, level ten, level twelve. But on the other uh, hand bot lane I feel this is going to be a bait. Will Negi fall for this? No, but he just but zips away and TPs out. Like, now that I think about it, Storm actually is good, man. Like, suppose uh, Beastmaster, they plan to, uh, like, pressure the map, right? Storm can, like, just zip and keep cutting the creeper, though. Like, once he's, like, got enough mana sustain, no? But the problem okay, with but... that is, like, you know, a Chrono can kill you. Uh, a shackle shark can kill you. So but in the end, you gotta remember, man. It's not a core. Like it's a. It's not a mid storm, right? Yeah, but if he's not there to protect, uh, to like, you know, help protect your tower, then who's like right now when they're pushing this tower? If you had like a, I don't know, like a centaur or sand king or something, you, know, you can try to hold him. But with the storm, you just don't have an answer for this kind of like five-man push. Yeah, they're drawing lines for mid. It's it's weird, man. 19 minutes they've taken the tier 2 bottom tower, but they haven't take, uh, taken the mid tower, though. Okay, but it's good. Like, uh, they're, maybe I think they're prioritizing, uh, prioritizing on taking the outpost, though. It's 1 minute to uh, minute 20. Yep, they did figure out that it'll be a hard fight to take. Because both the teams have already set up uh, on each other's jungle. On top mm. we have multiple wards on the cliffs. Even in bottom we have dire wards covering most of the area. So making a wise decision of not fighting into this T2 uh, push and trading the T2 towers and getting their own outposts. Uh, like I feel like this game depends upon a lot of vision, man. Like the, the dire side, they have to put wards in which they can jump on uh, they have to put wards with sentry to be honest like so they can see the movement of next night when he's invading the tri triangle or Oof. jungle right uh, the die is... side like they have to put yep. with every observer they have to put a sentry Stupendous. okay they got a dd bottled up on pa Oof! look at the pa's items raw at minute 20 as a deso battle fury and a dd like who's gonna survive that man I feel like even one crit on the DD faces would my diamond. <laughs> like he's so it strong right sounds, now. Sounds uh, really good. Oh, Pagna was yeah. smoked up, but decreases himself, but uh, purges off with the ranged. Uh, it's tough, Parch. Okay, oh, this might be bad. This BM might be really bad. Uh, and immediate jump takes down the Beastmaster. Oh, Kronos are two people, but gets frostbitten, but he mm. knows that this is not a good fight to take and immediately walks out. Storm. PA, everybody tries to chase this void, yeah. but they were all time related and finds out. I feel like it was a church. big miss miscommunication from the dire side, man. Like when the like they knew about that DD, like the Beastmaster sent his boat to destroy that DD, right? And then they saw that PA collecting that DD. They should have been well, mm -hmm. well aware, man. Like the gang is gonna happen soon, anytime soon because of the DD. And the Krona is Most... committed. Now they can't help anything. They can't do anything to contest this RS now. True, but I'm not sure how a Beastmaster is getting stunned by a Nyx Carapace in the middle of a fight. Probably he threw his axe and yeah, think... got stunned by it. Uh, if he had, uh, you know, roared uh, and summoned his books, um, that fight would have gone in a much different phase. And even unfortunate for the Void, Faceless Void, as soon as he popped his Krona and caught two people, the CM because, used Frost yeah. Bumps on Void and that kind of caught the Void out like, of Krono. Uh, what do you think, like, how do you think they're gonna uh, control this spear right now at the moment? Because none of them is getting MKB, right? And like, everybody's opting for defensive plays right now. They're getting their, they're getting their BKBs, they're getting their 
uh, Manta and stuff, but there's nothing. Nobody is queuing up. Uh, like nobody's even close to getting up there. MKB man, so I'm a bit worried about this PML. Oh no chance. Okay. Getting caught in the woods. He gets shackled immediately. Focus five, but he pops the data. There's no oh. detection for coming out from dice. No I think he just walks out. But there is a sentry on top. I don't know how that works. And Dark Willow gets immediately nuked down by this Pagna. Who's that sentry on top was from Radiant though. The die uh, die Radiant is on bottom. I think. No, 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 you're exactly right. Maybe they lost a vision though. Yeah, there wasn't any vision, he walked into fog, I guess. I think it's that's the uh, Dagon reveal coming out from Team Random. A lot like, of nuke damage. It's weird, man. Like, they've got so much stuff to deal with, man. But, like, it's important to kill the Nyx. Let's be real about him, man. Like, Nyx is being so annoying at the moment. But like, right? They can't aim PA right now because PA has Aegis. Storm. It's hard to stun lock the storm. Pagna is way too far behind, so it's the tiger prioritization is like so hard for them right now at the moment. True. Even with the BKB pickup coming out from Wind Ranger, like uh, even if he catches someone, like a support, for instance, he won't be able to. Kurno committed on PA with Aegis. This might backfire, but. It's, oh, it Storm back, zips yeah. into Bramble Maze, but still he silences the Dark Willow and takes her down. Meanwhile, a Roar committed on this Nyx. Will they bring down this Nyx? He just has to simply pop the Spike Carapace and walk away with Bennett. A help coming with Decrypt and Ooh. Life Ring coming out from Pugna. Meanwhile, PA jumps on this Void and immediately crits him down. And the tight chain is now they right go there. to the Beastmaster. Storm comes back, zips in and takes down this Beastmaster. Team Randoms. They're just turning things around. Oh, Man, it's Lexi, completely... he's still hungry. They blink and they know that uh, all their skills are on CD and they're punishing it. And being very aggressive, jumping T4s at the minute or 24. Yeah, if, it's weird, man. Like, from the looks of the draft, you might think that the Dire team has an advantage, but somehow they're making the storm work, man. There's too much chaos to going on around, man. Like, Storm zips in and then everybody is trying to focus that Storm and then you see a roar committed on that board, like, on that next. And then target immediately mm -hmm. changes and, like, none of them is getting killed, though. Dude, you know what? I, I think I it's believe... this Pagna and Nyx that are really enabling yeah. this map. Uh, even I feel like that, man. Mid lane, PA jumps Ooh. on this Void. Oh, Void beautifully mantas out and walks like away. Like, one HP but survived. this Pagna is still chasing. He has a blink dagger. He blinks and decrypts, but uh, time delays and walks out. Uh, oh, that time dilation is doing wonders right now. Uh, yep, he gets shackled down. Life drain disconnects, so blood doesn't right. work right now. Meanwhile, they jump on this Nyx, but beautiful Ooh, impact first, coming uh, out. Catches both the Windrunner and Void. Storm comes in, takes down this faceless Void. But BKB is out on this Tips on the Windrunner. white for some reason. I mean, I don't know, Quan. I feel they're just jumping on the wrong, wrong target. I believe they should just dodge fights if they do not have the right target who, who's been locked down, you know? Jumping on a Nyx or uh, is not the way to go. I feel like they need to be composed, man. Like, they have to... Okay, wait, wait, wait a second, guys. Look at this man. No chance is so close to getting his heart, man. As a post four, guys. Like, you think he was tanky earlier, but like, once he gets his heart, dude, I mean, how are what? you guys killing him, man? Like, we, I think he is done with his heart. Train? Yeah, like, 2.9k HP with that, with that, like, 11 base armor. Uh, dude, good I luck mean, killing him, a... man. He is, <laughs> he is the centaur now, guys. For this yeah, team. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Is it, like is it you might bring him down to like in? 10 HP, na? and then there's Pagna healing up, healing him right from behind, man. He's already a best in these fights. Now he's even peskier with this hard pickup. Boy, a 3k HP Nyx assassin, I, 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 like, uh, no way, man. No yeah, way, I'm not I playing know. this game. I feel like. Uh, Okay, this might oh, be a good turnaround, yeah. Yes, Perfect man. initiation by the die though. jumped in Pagna, but he gets first up and saved immediately. He gets shackled. Beautiful Chrono coming out. Beautiful out. He Chrono. Up the winter also, unfortunately. Even Beastmaster walks in for some reason. Pagna gets down though. Nyx gets time-related and gets bashed up by this Void. Oh, this perfect shackles now. 
nice shackle coming out. Try Ooh, to the be last minute out, electric out. Uh, Pulls out the spin runner. Hmm. Oh, Neki, he's still chasing. He has a lot of mana in his uh, bar. Even Neki is so fat as a post 3 man. Like, he has a uh, full box from completion. Ooh. Oh, he got his. He got him. <laughs> He got his Vortex off CD and gets Earl out of TP as well. Negi making this offlane spawn spirit work. Damn, I didn't expect that like as often I play myself man. I think I might have to stop playing Storm again though. <laughs> Having I mean, no have idea how that hero works, man. Right? help you first, Kwan. You don't get the wrong thoughts right now. Bro, I, the, many, the people who are watching it, they might be thinking, wow, Storm might be a good offlane, man. <laughs> Guys, it's not that, man. That is not the case, man. Brutal, brutal, no okay. chance. He's just okay. tanking up both the support's damage and casually just carapaces and impels him back. <laughs> Meanwhile, ZX, he just jumps in and walks away with two kills. Man, I think uh, there was like... Till minute 20, it was quite even. Like, they had one kid network, network advantage, right? Like, they had to, in order to uh, bring the game back, now they had to play to their strengths, man. They should have, like, focused uh, and they, they, they took the bottom tier twos, right? They should have played at the top side of the map, man. Tried to contest that RS, man. And the another thing, mistake, I think, was like, once the PA got the RS, now they should have been composed that, like, they won't, they're, they're gonna wait for the ages to expire, man. Okay. Oh, oh jump in full again commitment on, on next snake. man. Uh, like, look at it. But he just full commitment. Casually walks away with Vendetta. Oh. Eventually he's gonna die, I think. Yeah, there is Ooh. a sentry, so he should be going down. Fine, he dies. Meanwhile, on the other side, P and Stone jump on this Beastmaster and clean him up. Puzzle walks in, he slows down the offline teams. But uh, they retreat immediately to their base. Have to defend the top boys. I mean, he, mm. I, you are killing the Knicks. But at what cost? <laughs> you use Roar, you use your Windrunner BKB, you use your Void spells, and then the Storm can just jump whoever he wants to, you know? Yeah, I feel like the like core these guys component are enabling, of the. Dude, I feel like randoms are enabling their drafts so well just yeah, by like. Exactly, man. The way they're playing. <laughs> like, and the core component has been the next man. Like, uh, Nyx has early. Early leaning. Uh, it's quite strong man with that armor HP region. Okay, they're com committing on the Dark Vila again. Poor Dark Vila man. Oh, that is just a cover, but he the Neki oh. mainly goes for the Windrunner and tries to get them now, but Windrun's out of the way. ZXC jumps on him, but doesn't matter, but they come back to this Dark Willow and take her down. Yeah, I think that's like the drawback of this draft though, and like the advantage of uh, Radiant side, man. Like, they have so many initiation ways, man. Like, Nyx can pick off somebody over there, Storm can pick off in the backline, and then uh, PA can jump on, on the, another fifth guy, right? And like, whereas the Beastmaster rows, and then they have to commit on that road target, man. Like, I think that, that might be a drawback for the die side, man. He's... Oh, they're getting so many items, bro. Like, Nyx is queuing up his Ags. Storm has his Lincolns and Bloodstone committed. He looks like a Storm mid, man, to be honest. Like, with his items, right? And then Pagna is like, uh, can you look at Pagna's item with his Dagon and Octrian Core? He, he didn't even opt for a Dagon 5, man. He should up getting a Aeon, Aeon this maybe for the Chrono. And after he gets his uh, Aeon this, no way he's dying again, though. Yo, I can you look at the uh, dire items, bro? He's just not gonna. Pagna is not even gonna walk front. Yeah, man. He's just going to let the storm next PA do all the work, and occasionally help save people or nuke down a target which is almost near its death. Hmm. Like, exactly, man. Like, I was uh, like, it's a 30 minutes. He got his battle free. Uh, sorry, BKB. Oh, uh, like, at he the jumps on top. Point. He brings down this void. And stuff. He has his abyssal. Just flings, gets the stun out, and a 2.2k crit to be 2.2k casual grave. crit. <laughs> it's he a hard time there. for the dive set, man. Okay, they're diving more and more, man. Even Puzzle has a blink. They're just smiling yeah. on them right now. Meanwhile, uh, Neki is just casually farming uh, creeps. He's like, okay guys, my job is done. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> he just zips in and uh, comes out. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure they didn't have an answer okay, for GG that. Has been called. And immediately they call GG. Team Randoms pulling out a Storm Spirit off lane. Really on Team OP. I mean, uh, ultimately it was how they played together. Yeah, I, I think it made like it was too good, man. The laning phase, like they got way too much out of it, man. Storm as an off laner, like zoning out, uh, like the supporting by Nyx was too good, man. Okay, pro tip just ban Nyx boys. Thank you very just much for Nyx watching. Boys. <laughs> just ban Nyx. Still level five, which is surprising because Radiant has won all oh, three. Will the puck... Oh, he has two. Die. Okay. Puck does live. Nice, nice face shift. Yeah, the dead prophet car showing up bottom actually did play a huge role because they weren't able to get the tower and Puck's TP basically, Puck's rotation basically all they got was one kill. So this Puck isn't exactly the happiest player this game. Looks like he is going for the bots immediately though, not stopping for anything else in between. 
which may come to hurt him with the silences and the stuns that uh, the dire team do have, not getting the use. Mars playing with low HP on bot lane. He would need he will need to play safe. He has no arena and is low on mana as well. Both all supports are quite low level this game. Both supports on Radiant still, still did their six. And both they are pressuring two with, towers at the same support, time. Who is six, yep. But they don't get a, any towers, so they have to commit to one tower. Well, because they have to get these towers, they have to pressure them. If they don't, Death Prophet will just pop LT and again she will force the tower. Uh, PL has some decent space. Uh, what does he have? He has nothing. He just has one blade of electric. Oh. Big team fight happening. What? Death Prophet coming in with a three man silence and ultimate pop. Let's see how much he can get. Good ulti back. Nice Grim Stroffelt. And looks like they want to fight into this Death Prophet ultimate. Ray King just going oh, in. Death Prophet no. pops the Death Prophet. The miscommunication seems on dire with Grimstock wanting to go in, but they think wanting to go out. But overall, a pretty good team fight. Net Prophet is forced to use ulti, only getting one kill. And PL is get, getting some pressure on, on top. They think TP is immediately though. He sees the money, he sees the PL, and he wants all of it. Oh, PL, PL, trying, is to try, PL is trying to do. Unfortunately, <laughs> nice. King goes for the right one for them. And Silence misses on top though. So they will have to chase him down and Great King gets the last hit. Great King is too smart for these such looks. He has completed his omelet. Now he will just walk, uh, like he can just walk into tier 2s and no one can do it. Mm -hmm. He has omelet, he has trades, he has orb of corrosion, level 10, he is very strong. At 13 minutes, he's level 10. He's definitely really strong right now. The only uh, the only hero on die right now who can fight into them is the Death Rocket, but with a roar on mid, Mar seems to be going down. And yeah, the pickoff potential on Dayton is just much stronger with both Fuck and Beastmaster being there. Top tier 2 is on halfway down. Just by the skeleton. I'm not quite sure why the skeletons really are crazy. Keep on sticking in the top lane. He keeps on yeah, he should definitely. every time he goes there. He should either like if I was in this this out farm the triangle or be in the off lane. They don't really have the best vision either in top lane, so it's just not the safest. But looks like Dire uh, Raiden wants to pressure this mid tower. Or at least get a fight near the triangle. Now it is hard to peel to form triangle also. Mm -hmm. Like a radiant yeah. has taken over. Yep. <laughs> he had time five minutes ago. Now. Like you can see the network awesome. difference even now. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, uh, like They're Red King is farming. The radiant team, it looks like. In bottom, yeah. we may get a big team fight over here. Mars running it, but being slowed by the boar, he is not happy about that. Radiant and is just it looks like the smoke smart will not get the many kills. They, they saw one Mars and they immediately knew, like they were smooth. Mm -hmm. And they just made practice. Oh, we still might, might get that team fight. Ancient A blast missing completely and the snowball was on the creeps, so no actual initiation. Nice. And now just the radiant is gonna clean up. Soul bind and it is just over. Yep. Winning a team fight. They, they just team wipe. They just team wipe the dire without their carry. So, yep. <laughs> and with the highest network on the radiant. Things definitely looking quite grim for the dire side right now. Red King, Red King will almost 
I'll complete his radiance at around 20 minutes, I think. And then the game is almost done. Oh, this buff may tick out actually. With the ancient apparition buffs, phase shifting, one tick of damage, and he does die out. Normally, what you want to do as a buck is you want to phase shift the last tick of damage because that's the biggest one. The intermediate tips do not matter as much as the last one. So he would have lived if he uh, phase shift the last tick. Radiant again trying to pressure the triangle, enemy triangle. PL still not farming the triangle. He just he just wants to farm the risky yep. part. But right now I think that's safe because Diad is Radiance is mostly just playing the bot. Mm -hmm. He can farm the jungle pretty freely. No perk I'm is not sure why on Diad the creep. Is playing in the bot lane so much though. If I was in their place, I see Wraith King farming alone top. I see four Radiant heroes bottom. You smoke up, you go on the Wraith King, you get a good kill. Like Diad may get that. Radiant may get the bottom tower. But it does not value to be the standing behind the tier 2 right now. Any team fight they take, they will die. Like this buck is just gonna get a free kill on the ancient apparition right now. Wraith King has completed his relic. Mm -hmm. <coughs> or yeah. has he completed his radiance? Uh, no, yo, he went for desolator. Oh, so he, he's going he for just... the They want to end the game really soon. They, they're not scared of this PL at all. And for good reason. And it looks like we are gonna, we're gonna have a team fight bottom. A good initiation under both cores. Both cores get rolled. Mars go down, goes down immediately without being able to use any spells. Looks like Death Prophet as well will go down. Or oh, is living? The spirit surfing too strong, being too strong. And PL coming up for a clean up kill. Radiant still come out of on top though. Two kills. Yeah. I really like this desolator choice. Uh, I think that is really smart. Yep, it also helps them against he... Roche, just like being able to kill Roche really quickly with the Deso. Deal does finally complete his defusal. 18 minutes into the game and he's looking to go for Vanguard, interestingly enough. I would think Manta is probably better just being able to purge off the silence and being a Manta just being a good farming item overall since you get the Yasha with it. But <laughs> it looks like this rating has no cares no walking into five heroes and walking out while his team still being near Rosh. Looks like that Prophet has run into the Grimstroke, but Grimstroke just walks away. Dyer should look to their top tower. They ain't definitely having control of the map overall. It's free towers, free objectives, wherever they go, and Dyer cannot fight into them at all. Oh, they smoke three heroes on Radiant. Not sure where they, what they're aiming for though. Just cutting across mid lane for now. Roche seems like the most obvious objective next. But we shall see where they go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This... smoke on Dire. Look, Hello. Looks like they want to take a fight. Hello, can you hear me now? Good. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, okay. And it just, it looks like it's gonna be another wipe. Die, really don't have much oh, fight Pops against. Death Prophet and Ancient Apparition already dead. This is a disaster. Stars follows along, yeah. And Wraith King, meanwhile, just chilling in the side lane. <laughs> he's, just, he's just hitting the creeps. Oh, he has completed his blink. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. they, can, they can truly end the game now. Yeah, and with Beastmaster, they have really, really good push, even without the Wraith King. 
who seems to not want to play with this team at all. I wonder if they're, they're having some fight. The chat, the late team be like, nope, I will not play with you guys. I'll do my own thing. And the rest of this team be like, hey, we don't even need you. You do what you want to do. <laughs> Mid Zax goes down. Bottom back soon to follow, short sure enough. Oh, Mars ultimate used. Looks like they're going on the Rubik. Oh, interesting interaction over there, where Rubik actually gets pushed out of the Mars ultimate. From this period. Not sure why that happened. Finally, Red King joins. Oh, he will just clean up the everything. <laughs> He's like, guys, I know you want to throw, but don't worry, I am here now. Will Red King even go down the one no, 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 no. spot is? He won't even die once. Oh, but the A blast is coming. Oh, oh. Nice. Got by the Red King. Fast fingers, zoomer fingers. <laughs> and bot route seems to be going down as well. Oh, looks like we're going to have our first. Almost 5 versus 5 engagement with PL and Red King being in the fight. The armlet toggle. Oh, nice. Red King oh, does go down without he finally dies. Nice. The diffuser is too strong. And PL is gonna get a double kill. Let's see. Pretty good team fight. Is this gonna be the comeback we've all been waiting for? <laughs> Let's hope they take some. Uh, objectives like Roshan or something. Yeah. I don't think they, they could be able to. pretty hard without without that profit ultimate. PL also does not have a Yasha, so he doesn't actually do that much damage to buildings or to Roshan, as you'd expect, just with the defusal. So if anything, they'll just take this time to I think push out lanes, get some farm. Raiden will probably run into Rosh as soon as they can, and then run top and probably end the game. Rubik is pretty farmed. <laughs> Green stroke also. Dagger and tranquils. Mm -hmm. They definitely have a good time of support. Casually bullying the tusk as supports, and while the puck, puck finally comes in, he's just like, guys, I'll finish this for you. Oh. <laughs> now puck Green starts with two man coil. And and the radiant team Mars. is just like, when do we kill them? Is it now? Is it now? Is it now? And they finally decided with Red King here that they will end up getting up those kills. Oh, we are using Doppelganger to try to go in on the puck, which means he will probably end up dead with after the roar. Yep. And I think we should be expecting GG's to be called soon. There's not much I see Dyer being able to do to turn this game around. Red King is just casually hitting the non-important buildings. Like he doesn't care. He knows he can I think it is a matter of time until they start fountain diving. Let's see if that will be the turning point of this game. Will the greed of the fountain dive? Prove too much. Red King has just bought Aghanim Shard, so I think he won't. He won't be able to die. Like, they just can't. <laughs> Even if like, Radiant Fountain, they just yeah. won't. And now with Mega Creeps, Dyer has no way of actually clearing them out. They have no Dyer just called it. good AoE. Death Prophet just calls it. On the Ancient, and GG is called. This was a very... Like, from this draft standpoint, Radiant had, the, had this game. Mm -hmm. Pretty early. Just...